Hello everyone. So today I received this question on the community from Aaron, and uh, Aaron is asking, "How can I auto delete issues after six months?" And this question is actually very interesting. And by the way, I have covered this uh, in one of my video, but uh, I wanted to, to talk about it one more time today because uh, people want to delete issues uh, for some reason uh, because maybe they need. Uh, um, more maybe they don't have space on their server and this particular question if you if you read the question this question says that uh, we receive a lot of a lot of uh, tickets in their jira in their jira service management project where people are also sending attachments and uh, when of course you have a lot of attachments on the issue it will contribute towards the total space and uh, what aaron is trying to do here is to try to delete the issues if they are if they are old now first of all so, th so there are a couple of things that i want to talk about first of all i think uh, try to control the attachments that are coming uh, to your mailbox if you can maybe uh, uh, i think that is probably one place where you can definitely look at if you have attachments that are really huge um, maybe 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 do something about those uh, emails but let us say you have those uh, attachments converted as uh, Jira tickets in your Jira service management project. Then uh, instead of deleting an issue, although deleting an issue is possible, you can write an automation rule to do this. But instead of deleting the issue, you can actually delete the attachments. So let me show you. Let me show you one rule which I showed in one of my video, um, I think a few months back or maybe last year. I'm not really sure when. So yeah, it was actually on 12th of January. So I, I did talk about this and I created one rule and I can show you the rule. I, I should have the rule with me. So let me open the rule. And uh, if you look at uh, the rule here that says delete attachments, now, by the way, you can, uh, I mean, first of all, what we are doing here is uh, we are trying to delete the issues based on uh, nothing but one uh, transition. If there is a transition, then delete the, delete the attachments, which is probably not a good way. But I wanted to, of course, you know, trigger it manually. But you can also create a rule. Let us say, uh, let us say schedule delete attachments. So if you... Ah, uh, okay, come on. This is not really the name of the rule, but okay, let us select schedule here and I'll probably move my face on the left hand side. So let us run this rule every one week and uh, run a JQL search and execute actions on each issues in the query. So let us do that. So maybe you can uh, use here some kind of, uh, some kind of a, a query, JQL query based on uh, the creation date maybe for something like that for example if you look here or maybe we can write one while we are doing it let us let us write a jql query so if we go to issues let us do it one more time okay so what i want to do let us say i want to delete the issues based on some date field let us say their resolution date maybe switch to basic when you're working with date fields it is always you know just can we just use the basic search it, it is convenient so within the last uh, uh, or maybe more than more than uh, more than 30 days ago so if you if you run this so basically all the issues that were resolved uh, more than 30 days ago you can actually take a look at this uh, jql go to your uh, rule and if you validate the query you will find uh, some issues i guess with 38 issues and if you open many maybe one of those issues maybe a couple of those issues i just want to see if there are some attachments or not because i want to delete those attachments because i want to show you if it works so right now there are no attachments but maybe we can upload let us see if we can uh, upload the attachments so i'll try to find a way to upload maybe maybe not on this one can't i just upload a, upload attachments on uh, 
resolved issues. Let me just try to do it on a different one. I may have, by the way, some kind of uh, some kind of a uh, workflow transition property. So let us try to upload any file here. Uh, come on, I'm a bit confused how to do it. So let me just uh, let me just you know change it to in progress and uh, try to find a way to upload a file oh, come on I can see this big huge button called uh, done which is uh, definitely a one option I mean I'm, I'm not familiar with uh, I'm not massively familiar with the <laughs> cloud interface because I'm more used to uh, working on server but yeah there is a button and I now see it okay so let us uh, let us attach a couple of uh, files and what I will do I will make sure that uh, when I run this maybe I will uh, go back to some of those uh, other issues so maybe this one let us upload a couple of files here as well maybe this one as well so basically we have a couple of issues with some attachments and uh, what I want to do now, I want to make sure that when this uh, rule is executed, we want to delete the attachments. So we can also delete the issue, which you should not do uh, because uh, if we delete the attachments, then those issues are gone. And uh, I want to delete all the attachments. So save it. And uh, I want to basically schedule delete. Attachments. Turn it on, and uh, and what I want to do now is I want to I want to run this. So how do we run this? Come on. So maybe 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 this rule is still not running because this rule will is supposed to run uh, every week, every Tuesday. So um, let us do one thing. Let us do minutes and uh, what i will do now i will save this now because it should run maybe now in just one minute oh come on okay we have to specify interval which should be more than five minutes okay let us do five minutes and uh, while we wait for the rule to execute maybe i will talk about something because we have to wait for five minutes which is not really a long time but we have to wait so let me open the audit log and uh, keep on refreshing this. So what will happen when this rule will run? It will uh, go through each and every issue that will uh, match this. Uh, I mean, of course, first of all, this rule will run. And when this rule runs, if uh, you have uh, some, some JQL defined here, it will do something for those issues. So it says here on top, Execute this rule on the provided schedule. You can choose if you if you if you would like to perform actions on a set of issues gathered with a JQL search, or simply execute the rule. I definitely want to do it on a set of issues, and uh, and and that is what uh, this rule will do. So this rule is supposed to run on. 528 which is uh, roughly few minutes from now so let us wait for it to finish and if you go back to the if you go back to the question let me just uh, look at the reply uh, so this is what this is what I also recommended to Aaron that uh, please try not to delete an issue and the good thing about Jira is that you have changed history you have history of uh, all the things that you have been doing in this video of Jira Cloud Automation, I showed how to delete an issue and it worked. But uh, when you look at the actual issue, you will see that these issues are removed. And maybe you can, I mean, I mean, to be honest, I'm also not in a favor to delete the attachments as well, because uh, first of all, try to control the, the email where you have big attachments. And when you have those attachments in Jira, you, although you can delete the attachments, but when you delete the attachments again, uh, you will lose those attachments. Uh, so just 
think about something else maybe maybe write a script to download those attachments using a rest api maybe that might work and then again use the rest api to delete the attachments i think that will be my preference i have covered this by the way so let us take a look at the video that i made talking about uh, working with attachments using a rest api so let us do that yeah so i think recently i made this video delete 700 attachments and uh, you can by the way so you can get the, all these shoes attachments and you can also upload an attachment so there are so many things that you can do with rest api and uh, let us go back to the rule and still not still waiting for the rule to run it says next run 528 and what time is it right now it is not 528 by the way okay i think a couple of minutes from now so let me just open the rule again okay so what will happen when this rule will run it will it should delete the attachments that we just uploaded these two files in these two issues and uh, it should work i mean i'm just uh, trying to make sure whenever i whenever, whenever i do something i have this habit whenever i do something like scripting or maybe any work that i do i prefer validating it because you should you should try to validate your work always a good thing to do in my opinion okay i guess one more minute before this rule can run and th this is what i do normally i mean in the evening i open atlassian community and i start looking for questions i try to spend few minutes every day i, I mean i don't really really spend like a lot of time but you know a few minutes once in a while uh, during the day if i can especially during the evening period i spend like 15 minutes i open the community and look at the questions and try to answer and when i do that of course uh, i get ideas to make more videos for you guys still not run I don't see any any message here that says uh, that it that, that the rule ran but let me just look at the issue at the issue okay the attachments are still there on the ticket but I don't see the rule Oh, come on i think uh, i'm so stupid i i can actually click on the button on top so let us do that and uh, let us see okay so it says in progress the interface is now different i i'm so sorry i should have clicked on the button on before but i missed it i think i'm not really in, in my best mode but let us wait for it to do something and uh, it, it is still in progress by the way and the rule is supposed to delete the attachments and if you don't have attachments i think it will move on so i think the rule worked at least on this issue you can take a look at the history of the issue and it says it will t tell you that you know the screenshot is now deleted and it was done by automation for jira so let us do the same thing for the other issue and uh, this will be of course the the issue will be of course without any attachment now so this is how you will be able to delete your attachments if you need to and uh, that is it that is all i wanted to talk about in this uh, video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye